back for another week. It's good to be back. If you're liking them at the moment, give us a five star rating on Spotify. Subscribe, please. Subscribe, please. You'll get a good reward. Yeah, tell us in the comment what number subscriber you were. Yeah. Um, I don't really care. Noxie, how was your week? Good week. Good week. Yep. Do heaps. Yeah, just being stressed. You know when you just leave it on stress? Stress isn't good. We don't like stress. Yeah, that's been my past two weeks. I don't like it. Too many... But mine's like uni assignment, so it's like a bad excuse to be stressed. Mm. It's and I know normal, that's though. like a trigger word for Jack almost now. The amount of times I said I kind of got him to do an Fucking assignment. I hate uni, bro. He hates it. <laughs> <laughs> he hates it. <laughs> give, me, give me an example of... Uh, when I've said... Yeah. Well, I said I had to leave early after a pod or something when I had to edit. Like, I needed to get this editing done. And I said, I've just got to go home and do uni. And I reckon he's just like, fuck. No, nah, I'm just sick of uni. He I hasn't gone uni. for a minute and he's sick of uni. Like, Grace came up to me. My sister came up to me today and said she wants to do uni. I said, why? And she's like, I don't know. I'm like, okay, do you know what you want to study? And she's like, no. So I'm like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> You can go figure it out, I guess. Why don't you figure out what you want to do, assess whether uni is the right option for that mm. goal, then furthermore, you. make a decision on whether uni is the best option. Because it can be, but a lot of the time, I don't think it is. Uni life is really good. I Like, I enjoyed it a lot, but there's no point going to uni for no reason. What I don't, what annoys me about uni is that I reckon a lot of uni is just about making the connections as well. Yeah. With people. 100%. And like, do I have to do all these different classes just to make connections? I'm connecting with be- different people about how much I hate this class. <laughs> That's how I'm connecting with people. Like, mm. all right, what's the easiest way for us to get a HD in this assignment? Like the minimum amount of work for us to get the best mark. HD, high definition. High, yep, yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> All we try and aim for at uni is high definitions. <laughs> what else is there? High distinction, probably to start off. Yeah. There's pass, isn't there? Yep, down the bottom. <laughs> is that HD, the worst? D. H, well, there's high distinction, distinction, credit, pass, pass fail. fail. Mm. If you're getting, you don't want to be getting credits and passes. Credits are okay, but it's so, not. Yeah, so but credits C+. Plus. Credits is like, like you part, you, you're getting through it. You're getting your credit. B minus, I'd fucking take that. Credit, you take, but you want to get distinction kind of stuff. Distinctions like B plus A? Yeah, HD, that's an A. HD's A plus. But what's the point in getting good marks in uni? Isn't the goal just to pass and get the piece of paper? Yeah, but well, if yeah. You, you can graduate with high distinction or distinction and it just looks like... It, certain jobs like will oh. take that and it'll... It'll obviously boost it. Yeah. Certain, certain jobs won't at all. Like if you're mm. studying to be a nurse, you're probably don't, not needing high distinctions because Shit, everywhere needs degree, nurses. Exactly. Mm. But if you're studying to be like in a saturated market, even like design, graduating with high distinction and like everything like Is that. Is that what you did? Distinction. Still. See, Grace wants that's to do great. design. Yeah, do it. Do yeah. it. I said, that's fine. What's she like designing? Communication design. Ah, copying yeah. Noxy. Did you do communication design? I did. Yeah. So that's what Grace wants to do. Go for it. Do it. And I said, go for it. I said, you should start now. Do some stuff for some people. She's like, I don't know how. I'm like, that's why you go to uni. <laughs> yeah, they'll Just teach you what out. to do and how to do it. Help some people. Anyway, what anyway. did you do this week? Gee, what did I do? Pretty... Not a whole lot. Just uni work and boring. Be boring. I had a discussion with someone this week. And we, it was about beer. <laughs> That's normally a good Yeah, normally topic. a good topic. Um, you know how beer... <laughs> <laughs> we suck. <laughs> our alcohol... Footy and beer. You know how alcohol dehydrates you? Yep. So nah. say you're in the Sahara Desert. Yeah. And you randomly come across a cold beer, right? Are you better off drinking that or moving on and not drinking it? No, so you're definitely better off drinking it because every single liquid in the world has water in it. But it dehydrates you. I think a lot of it dehydrates you. I think it dehydrates you compared to other yeah. drinks. Not like if you drink it, you're mm. worse off. Okay. If I saw a cold Melbourne <laughs> sitting there in the Sahara <laughs> Desert. A floating cold Melbourne. I will fight someone to the death for that, for that beer. 
Mm. I think it's an interesting one. I get you. Could you just survive on beer, you reckon? Yeah. yeah. Oh, dude. Yeah. By the last day, you'd be in serious trouble. I, how many days? All right. Here's a good question. So you're stuck in the Sahara Desert. Mm. All you have to hydrate you is beer. Yeah. <laughs> Warm beer. No, it's cold. It's cold. cold like beer. ice cold. But how many days can you survive on it for? Are you being smart or are you having two and then you're like, shit, I'll have one more. <laughs> and then you're like, oh, well, there's nothing else to do. I have another one. <laughs> oh my God. What? Is it six o'clock already? <laughs> I'm 14 got, down. I'm 14 down and I have so much time. <laughs> I'm going to have another beer. So you've got unlimited cold Melbourne. Yeah. Unlimited cold beer. You're in the Sahara Desert. How long until you die? See, you'd probably have a real big night. <laughs> first night, you're going nuts. That is a fact. Yeah. There is no way you're not having 20 on the first night. Yeah. You're having 20. What else are you doing? Exactly. You're counting right. grains of sand? Yeah. You're not doing that. You're having 20 Melbournes in 20 the first Melbournes. night. 100%. So you're waking up, it's hot. And you're hungover, <laughs> and the only thing you can do is drink another beer. Your mouth is so dry. You, you die from alcohol poisoning pretty quickly, I'd say. Yeah. See, you couldn't even drink your own piss. It'd just be Melbourne. Because it'd be just Melbourne. There's better piss available. <laughs> yeah. Um. Comes in a red can. <laughs> no, but like... How many days do you reckon until you're like, I literally cannot have another sip of beer? Is it literally the one day? Is it the next day you die because you're like, yeah. I'm not touching beer ever again? <laughs> You'd become addicted to it though. That's alcohol. Man, people that become alcoholics. Do you reckon you'd end your life if you could only eat one more f- food for the rest of your life? Be tough. Like you can only eat cauliflower for the rest of your life. Be tough. I don't mind cauliflower, a bit of cheese sauce. Yeah, but it's just cauliflower. <laughs> Shit, that's tough. <laughs> um, can I ask some questions? Um, the, like, have I had any other food in my life? Yeah. So I've had every food and now you're just like, well, from now on, you can only eat cauliflower. Yeah. Damn. I was hoping you were going to say no, because then it'd be a whole lot easier. It's like dog food. Dogs live (laughs) off dry, some of them just live off dry food. That's fucked. That's fucked. How could you only give your dog dry food? What's going on there? You got to give it wet food as well. We don't give our dogs that much wet food. What? We but give him leftovers and dry food. Leftovers? La- Labradors, though, they'll eat, they eat grass for fun. They're stupid. And they eat so much. Yeah, Labradors eat a what's lot. The, yeah. What's the deviation with your, with your leftovers, though? <laughs> like, what, what do you, do you mean? mean? Yeah. What's, like, the bell curve? Like, what's, <laughs> what's How many times really popular? Week? If we have a Barbie. So, meat. Oh yeah, because it's if you, I'm not giving him cauliflower. <laughs> but you can't give your dog like leftover KFC. No, I wouldn't. Get, no, like home cooked meals, leftover. How much do you have leftovers every night? No, well, I'm not saying we feed them like mainly their diet is dry food. But we'll give them stuff. If you could only eat dog dry food for the rest of your life, how many days are you surviving? No, oh, I probably wouldn't make it past breakfast. <laughs> Yeah, that'd be a sad life. Dry food? Nah, man. You come across dry food in the Sahara Desert, are you munching it down or are you walking past it? I'll see if there's any other options, 100%. <laughs> yeah. So where though? There's just sand. How many days until you eat the dog food? <laughs> Honestly. I'll probably, I'll probably eat it the first So you got day. nothing but dog food in your backpack. Yeah, nothing. And, and you're like, I'm not eating dog food. How many days until you're like, I'm eating this dog food? Yeah. And salvation's 10 days away. But you don't know it's 10 days away. Yeah. That's the thing. You're trying it on the third day? Probably try it on the second day, to be fair. You Dude, you're starving. Sniff, you give it a sniff the first day. You can day. survive a lot longer than you think without food. Yeah, but... Walking you could, for ages, though. Walking hot. No food. Yeah, that's trouble. And there's food there. I'm not I saying it's I an ideal prob- scenario. I know I'm I can probably can eat it and be okay. Mm. I'm probably eating it. I'd, I'd probably vomit straight it up, but you got to do it. What do you, you reckon? Do it, what do you reckon be worse, dog, dog food, food or cat food? Cat food's vile. I hate cat food. How disgusting <laughs> so is this? It's got like smell tuna it. and sardines and shit in it. It's oh, that's disgusting. not. Well, it's disgusting though because that's actual food that you can eat. Yeah, but it's got like they're in there with yeah, sardines. Yeah, so I could you eat. can give your dog your fucking chicken wet food. Like you can eat chicken. <laughs> it's not actually chicken. There'd be chicken in there. Ch- what are we talking about now? I like what's dog food made off. out of? 
It's not the good parts of a chicken, I'll tell you that much. No, it's horse meat. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. It's oh, horse meat. No. That's well that's commonly known. I have never heard of it. Are you that sure before. it's I've heard about it, but like are you sure it's horse meat? It's horse meat, Or mate. is that just some stereotype? Mate, black caviar, fucking Simba probably was chomping on black caviar the <laughs> other day. <laughs> I thought it was just kind of like all the fat and bone and whatever leftover of the animal. That sounds even worse than horse meat. No, that's what I... I know, I'm not saying it's good. It's totally I was ne- at no point of this conversation was I like advocating for dog food. I'm just saying that... I reckon that's what dog food is. It's just like the leftover parts. Like hot dog meat. It's almost like that, yeah. Yeah. That's what I think it is. The cheapest of chicken. And if it's chicken, yeah, it's probably like chicken feet and stuff. You could probably eat dog food and survive. Yeah, yeah you can. It's just not We know someone that ate dog food. Who? I think. Didn't someone come on and say they ate dog food? Patreon, Kyle's eating dog food. Patreon, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what gross. do you think is the, uh, like the human food equivalent to dog dry food? Rice. Yeah, rice. I fucking love rice. Yeah, dog foods love wet food as well. My dog hates dry food. Oh, we're talking dry. Oh, yeah, dry food. Nah, well, it's like toast then. I don't know, something really plain. Yeah, bread. Yeah, bread. Bread and damper. Bread. Yeah. What about like cereal? Like real brand, like bland cereal. Like, <laughs> what's a really bland cereal? All bran. All bran. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> no one has ever had that man like, this is really good. No, nah, it's just good for your pooper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's got all the fiber. Just say it like that for. <laughs> that's how my nan says it. Oh, fair enough. Bless her. Mm. Do you guys get angry when you see like those articles and it's like, scientists discover that bananas are a leading cause of cancer? For older yeah, age like people, the news. like stupid shit like oh, that, bro. Like tomato sauce, you can can't lead eat diabetes. You can't have yeah, coffee have within the first of hour it. of waking up. Scientists discover who are these scientists, and why yeah. am I to believe them? Yeah, got to stop believing what the TV shows me. I'm gonna make my own assumptions in this world. I'm <laughs> done with it. Make my no. Well, there's some things you should definitely listen to, but I don't know. There's a lot of like I saw. Like that, I saw um, one of the things like, you know, apples, they have like this, um, I don't know what they have. It's like some kind of like really thin layer of wax that like preserves the apple. And like, if you scrape it off with a really fine knife, you can like get it off. Mm. And people are like, oh, you're putting this in the body. It's so bad for you. Toxins. Just, no, it hasn't. How many people have died from apples? Not me. And if your body has been ingesting it its whole life and you've seen no difference, there just is nothing wrong with it. Ignore it, yeah. Just ignore it. Ignore it. I just don't get it. If, like, just because someone says something happens. If you go, if I go over to someone's house and they're peeling an apple, mm. what are you doing? What are you doing peeling the apple, mate? What are you doing? That's like people that peel grapes. I've seen that. That's insane. That's ridiculous. Yeah. I get... Obviously, give everything a good wash. A wash, yeah. You give your grapes a wash. Bit of, under the water, that's fine. Yeah. With any, any, with any any fruit. So I don't buy fruit or eat it, mm. right? I'm wondering, if you're at Woolworths, will you try a grape of a bunch before you take them? Yeah, I, I just eat them for fun every time I walk past. Really? <laughs> yeah. That's like stealing though, isn't uh, it? You don't eat the grapes at Woolworths. I don't eat grapes. I was scarred. I was... When I was a kid, I was like eight. I um I did that, and this old man in, with a cane like started yelling at me, really full on yelling at me, and scared the shit out of me. Like he had a problem or something as well. Yeah, he was like waving his cane at me, like you fucking rotten little bastard, <laughs> eating these grapes. How old were you? Eight. I'm just like oh, looking up, like I'm stiff. fucking sorry. I'm hungry. <laughs> you can eat the grapes at Woolies. I I get weird now. I like to put everything underwater. It's just me though. Yeah, you've lost the plot. Has seen the ad the government threw out there? Unbelievable ad. Which ad? Make sure you go out there, top up with your next booster. Oh, people. yeah. Um, fuck off. Who's getting the booster? Another booster? Every six months, get your booster shot. What a waste up. of money that is. That what ad. What the fuck is happening here, people? Who is getting another booster? We're past it. Am I alone here? I can't be alone. 
I'm Kyle's gone quiet. Kyle's gone quiet, but I'm I'm with you, Hunter. Are you asking me if I'm getting a booster? Another one? No. No. I don't think I got the first one. It, unless I have to go traveling or something, I'm not getting anything. Yeah, true. We should look at that. Another COVID booster. We don't have to do that to travel. No. <laughs> Mate, if I'm getting another booster, <laughs> send me to Mars. I'm done with Earth. COVID <laughs> done. What are we doing, people? Oh, I hated that ad when I saw it. Yeah, it's so stupid. Um, yeah, fair. <laughs> when, I hate I hate still hearing about COVID. Oh, so do I. I'm like, done with COVID. I hate hearing about it. Like when people say, oh, I've got COVID. That even annoys me. Just say you're sick. Yeah. I'm sick. I think my old man's got COVID. <laughs> right. Good. As we, I, don't Good. Actually, I don't actually know. Because I don't know if he's actually done a test yet. Yeah. I'm sure if he's got it, he's got it. And he seemed completely fine. He's fine. He was texting me about the Lakers game all day, so he should be fine. We're not talking about <laughs> the Lakers game. Let's go. What a start. Oh, well, we'll leave it there. No, well. Mm. That's no, it. I'm done with COVID. Even when the comedians bring it up in the conversation. I'm I don't like it anymore. Yeah. I don't like how See, they we all don't talk like it about anymore. it. Yeah. I don't like how they just like say, the last couple of years have been weird. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> ah, what do you want me to do? It's like, yeah. I don't care. Tell me something funny. It feels like a cop out. Know. The COVID talk. Yeah. But mm. I get it because like, especially right now, that's been our last couple of years and them getting back into stand up that they've like, that's all they've been able to talk about. Hmm. But I like, I want to be, I want to skip a couple of years ahead. Yeah. So we've had at least two, three years out of COVID where it's been back to normal and we can talk about that shit again. Yeah. So I just hate saying like, Oh, remember when you couldn't leave your house? Like we just got out of COVID. Yeah. I don't want to hear about COVID. Yeah. Tell me about something else. Mm. That ad can fuck off. <laughs> I really hated that ad. <laughs> it, yeah. Do you guys get, I get really irritated. Like, these massive companies with all these people employed uh, and they produce like really shocking ads. Mm. Like, you know, when you watch an ad and you're like, that's a fucking shocking ad. Like why? <laughs> yeah, most of them. I'd most say. of them, right? Like you've got people being paid so much money. That ad to be on the TV is so much money or to be on YouTube or wherever is being, is worth so much money and it's shocking. Like how do you get it so wrong all the time? Well, there's got to be some kind of thing where it's like, it's got to be corny because then they talk about how corny it is. There has to be that kind of like appeal. Like you, we're, we're going to be talking about how corny an ad is. Do you have any, shit one is. Do like, you have any that stick out to you other than the COVID one? Like a corny ad. Just one that you remember as being the worst. Like I have one that sticks out to me. The worst ad I've ever seen. Just an, it could be ever, it could be now that you just sticks in your head. Mm. One that stick, I got two that stick in my head. A four and twenty pie ad that was on every basketball break. Yeah. About Ben Shim- Simmons yeah. shoots a three. Oh, that one. We yeah. give a big high five. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I was so sick of that one. <laughs> and the one with the kid and he goes, We're gonna need a bigger boat. Yeah. Yeah. That Amy, those stick Amy. out. See, they they stick out as well because when you're watching ESPN, they're so repetitive. Dude, like, it's just ESPN the same ads. hammer them home. Hammer the same mm. ads. That's what I mean. That would be so much money. Like have you guys seen the goat soap ad on TV? The goats. Go- what? Goat soap. No, I haven't seen goat, goat soap. soap. It's got like the worst song. And soap is back. It's Soap's the worst back. ad. Thank God. Mm, tell you what ad I always get reminded. Reminds me of my childhood. In the car. Dad's got the radio on. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that the most like. Frank Walker. The childhood yeah. sound ever. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds like you're just about to hear like triple M footy. Yeah. Yeah. On the radio. Triple M Shut on the radio. Up. Mm. Are you on more it. the footies on the radio or the footies on triple M? Do you remember that? Like how they split it up? No, I don't. So you got like the footies on triple M or the footies on the radio. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no. no. Fuck both of you. Well, I knew exactly what you were talking about. I know. About. I didn't want to sing, but I had to. <laughs> I know. I thought, I'm like, let's let him go. <laughs> Fucking. What were you like the first time you came? Where? What? <laughs> no. No. Nah, that's not. What are we doing? Like, come on. <laughs> I know exactly what he's doing. I know what he's doing. What am I doing? That's a good question. I heard it on a podcast today. Where? Where were we? 
Where were you? First time. Yeah. And what was your reaction? <laughs> I don't want to end. I don't feel comfortable doing this. What about how old were you when, you know, you first did the deed by yourself? Shook hands. But w- shook your own shook hand. Your own <laughs> yeah. <laughs> first time you shook your own hand. Okay. How old was I? Honestly, I'd be 14. 14 is not that, that is old. The first time you masturbated. I reckon 14 or 13. I reckon 12. I was shooting blanks for like four years though. (laughs) It was really convenient. It was good. First Um, time you... 13, but end of year seven is me. Yeah. End of year seven. Would have been close to the end of year seven. So you discovered it. No, I knew about it. I just didn't... I don't know. You know, I probably felt uncomfortable about it. I was still a young child (laughs) at heart. Where was your spot? In your room? Where was my spot? What are we talking about? (laughs) My spot. I would would love for you to detail your spot, Henry. No. Patreon. Um, I remember the first time I was like playing with it. I was fascinated. Smelling it. Oh. You guys didn't do that? Smelling it? <laughs> yeah. Mate, this is fucked. <laughs> I, I was, like I was so fascinated. Sure, it's fascinating. I was like excited. I'm a man. I was like seven. I'm a man. <laughs> I was old. You were seven. Eight. Wait, what are you talking about? You were <laughs> 17. Yeah. When what? The first time something came out. Oh, right. That's really old. Yeah. But first I was a time late ever- developer, like really late. No, no, no. First time. What? So it's when you're young and you masturbate and you come. Oh, I shot I blanks. Know, nothing comes out. Oh. So what? You, yeah. No way. For like three years. Oh, that's sad. It's when your balls. <laughs> it's not sad. It's, when your it's balls awesome. Oh. Do you remember I that? Day, I had days when I first started on at least 10 in a day. Oh, oh what the oh fuck? Oh, my God. Yeah. No Holy problem. Fuck. That's well, nothing happened. So it's just mean? constant good feeling. Oh. Wow. Can I say... Have you never shot blanks? No. Nah. What? I I shot- surely. Yeah, I did. You did? Yeah. Yeah, how good was Well, that? I wasn't doing it when I was really young. Yeah. I'll- you said year seven, though. Yeah, end of year seven, so it would have been almost 14. Yeah, that's not you young. You said 12. Hey? No. 14's not young. No, not Isn't- at all. Yeah. Neither of you are young. Neither what's, of you. What's young? What's the average age of the first? Dude, do you I reckon? Was in like year four. You did in year four. You started in year yeah, four. Man, I was Holy shit! No way. God, that's why maybe you have so much hair on so your chest. Maybe, bored. maybe year three. I don't even know. Year three. Yeah, three. Dude, I didn't it, even know I had a dick in year three. I didn't that's know what I, I didn't know what I was doing though. Like I didn't know what it was. I just oh, I would it. have had like. Random erections in bed, like randomly waking up and being like, "What's going on? I can't lie down now." I remember because we, <laughs> you remember, you just always push it down. You're like, "What's going yeah, on?" Yeah, we had um, yeah, like I went to a Catholic primary school. I don't know if either of you did. Oh, you throw. Oh, that's why I started in year three. So we'd have church on a. Oh, that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking hot. We'd yeah. have we'd have church on like a, every Friday. And I remember one time, I don't know what year I was in, I got a little, little stiffy and I was like, what the fuck is happening? I'm in church. This feels so wrong. I'm sorry, Jesus. It was so weird. I'm sorry, the Jesus. The first time you had Did a you wank start? was in church. No. <laughs> That's not no. what he said. <laughs> no. Did you pray for Jesus to take away your erection? No. You so did. You would have. 100% you would have. I was stressed out. You, you've got an erection early. in church. Yeah, I was early. I don't know why. That's like eight years old. I know. I, I can't explain it. But I was, again... Were you shaving year th- in year three as well? <laughs> <laughs> Who starts wanking when they're eight years old? I couldn't tell you. Noxie can. Him. Eight? It's not like I, I, I... As I said, it's not like I knew what I was doing. It's not like I was... Could like, be common. I don't know. I reckon it is I now, just came to the game. I reckon like, nowadays it is I with social out. media... I reckon it's be er- everything these days is earlier and earlier. I reckon the average age for like people having sex is early. What age? I reckon people would. Oh, I don't know. Ten. 
Not 10. <laughs> you kidding me? <laughs> I don't know. Having sex at 10? You're saying <laughs> early. What, 12? <laughs> that is 12. 12? No way. I oh. reckon like earliest 15. Like, come no, on. That's, 12. That's, that's the I age that we were doing it at. Who is having sex at 13, 14 years old? I know a lot of people who had sex at that age. No way. I was like four foot two. Like, I was playing you with Lego. Know, some people develop early though, dude. It's yeah. not something to think Fucking about early. that's nice. It's, it's really disturbing, but... Yeah. It's just the way it is. So you reckon people are having sex at 10? No, no. 12. <laughs> Fuck. I hope fucking 12. Not. 12, I reckon. Pe- there's people out there that lost their virginity at 12. Yeah. I know I know people who have. <laughs> at 12? Yeah. Man, I was seven years after that. It's not good, is it? 19. 19. I think I was... Se- I, was, I would have been 18. You were 18. I was an adult virgin. Were you 18? Cla- I no. was 15. Oh, 15. Fuck. You're so much cooler than me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm such a loser. Boring. Girlfriend at 15. Girlfriend. Girlfriend never. Never. You've never had a serious relationship. Never been in a serious relationship. It's pretty weird that since fif- since I've been... Since 15 years old, I've had one year where I haven't been in a serious relationship or like a long-term relationship. Mm. Yeah, it's complete contrast to you. You like a partner. Yeah, you like someone love, there love. for you. Love, love. Love's love. I love it as well. I just can't find it. Yeah, I'm just, <laughs> well, <no, you're laughs> just going to look for it. <laughs> Fucking binoculars on. <laughs> yeah, it's nothing worse. Up the tree. <laughs> I can't believe you just said 10 years old. Boy, that wasn't that far off. We ended up finishing 12. on 12, so. Yeah. The, the thing is, there'd be people, there'd be some fucking kid out there that probably has, you know? Yeah, 100%. It's, and it, I, and he, you know what? I reckon we should move on to the next subject. I don't like talking about it at all. No. Yeah, before we got to like, mine is having sex. What were we talking about? Firing blanks. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I you haven't fired blanks. I couldn't tell you of a time. It makes sense though, because you don't really have the urge to do it when you can't, like when you can't produce, you know what I mean? That's when you have the urge to do it is when you can actually produce cum. Oh, (laughs) why do you have to say it? See, when I was shooting blanks, I'd go nuts. Mm. What do you mean you'd go nuts? What do you... Like I could do it over and over and over and over and over. Yeah. And it was... I've never been ever... It was FIFA. Uh, it was that. <laughs> and it was like Doritos. This is like when I was 16 years old. Oh, man. What about now? I don't think I've ever been that kind of addicted to Not it. like that at all, <laughs> yeah, yet, to be fair. It's, are you... No, no, no Okay. Because I know, I know, I know you're exaggerating. Mm. But like, what do you think ever the max in one day has been for you? I know what the record... My record is. What? 14. You're taking the piss. I'm not joking. 14. <laughs> is this staying in? This is when I was like 15 years old shooting blanks. 14? Yeah. (laughs) Bro, what the fuck? That's so messed up. Oh my God. (laughs) I'm not joking. That is my record. Have you had like close to that as well? Like that's just not like an outlier 14? Uh, I would have, yeah. I can't remember. It was like nine years ago. Mate, you would have been so sore. I can't remember. 14? It's when you just discover it. My hand, your hand would have been sore. <laughs> well, it didn't have to. Oh, okay. Like, I got gotcha. you. <laughs> I got gotcha. yeah, you. Yeah. You didn't have to go any further than yeah. that. Far. Yeah. What about you? Do you know yours? Most in a day. Yeah. Oh, man. Like four? What? Bullshit. Yeah, that's, that's low. For but most Maybe in a day. five. But at wouldn't the same been, time. Would not, would not. I couldn't. I don't even think five. I reckon mine's about seven. So. <laughs> That's not seven. <laughs> to me, that's excessive that's so in, it's much. It's way more than that. That's insane. When you first discovered it, you were going nuts. No, that's what I'm saying though. I discovered it at an early age. So did I. But I wasn't, I'm talking earlier. I wasn't going nuts at an early age. Having nine wanks a day when you're eight years old. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I did not know that about you guys. 14 in a day is fucked. Yeah, shit. That's yeah, like, with no bullets either. Yeah, it's great. You don't have to get changed or anything. It's awesome. 
Wow. It's you know it's weird that masturbating and wanking is seen as such like a a manly or like it's stereotype for blokes. Like oh, have a bat, yeah. have a wank. Mm. But it's so much easier for for girls to masturbate. Mm. Like all these toys that are out there, all of this shit for girls is so much easier than it is for guys. Like for guys, all you really have is your hand. For girls, you've got all this elaborate shit that you can use, all these toys and whack shit. Yeah. Compared to like the toys that you can use for guys, it's it's nuts. If there were man toys, would you use them? I'd have to. You'd I'd, have to? I've thrown a plunger on there before. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fucked. What do you mean? I don't even get it. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Noxy. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> well, I know you're joking, but it's just like no, I I probably wouldn't use anything else. No. Well, but I think no, that's a are. thing there's as pocket, well. There's pocket pussies. Oh! oh, they're terrible. Who would ever use that? A lot of guys, I think. Flesh lights. Yeah, have you flesh, used one? Flesh or flash? Flesh 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 light flesh light. Have you used one? No. Have you? <laughs> you no. have, haven't you? I, I know you have. have. Yeah, yeah. I have. <laughs> Why'd you say no? <laughs> I don't know. It seems weird. I feel I like, like it. You didn't like it? No. Wow. I thought you would. No, you do. No, you told me you liked it at the time. Maybe at the time. <laughs> yeah, you so definitely liked it. You're just blatantly lying. Oh, I no mean, shame. it's not there something I feel very here. comfortable about. Yeah. What, um, why is it weird for guys to talk about it? But girls would be like, oh no, try like this my toy, vibrator. it's unreal. Yeah. Yeah. Or whatever. Or I do this, I do that. And it's no worries. Because the hand... Do you reckon there's a thing... Mm. I'm going to cut... Yeah. Sorry, I left my vibrator in my pocket. Mm. Um, for all the Spotify listeners. <laughs> 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 um, do you reckon... I feel like there's something behind... Um, with guys masturbating full stop that it's like a shameful thing because it's almost like the guy that mas- th- I'm kind of taking it back a bit but it's like the guy who masturbates the one that it can't get a girl kind of thing oh okay if I that makes sense oh so if you keep masturbating your testosterone is going to be low or it kind of like that but it's also like you don't have like you can't get girl or get a girl and be intimate with them so you have to look after yourself kind of thing I reckon that kind of like yeah. subconsciously goes through our mind. Especially a fleshlight, which is called a pocket pussy. Like that yeah, just I don't sounds like, terrible. I don't like that. It was like a but vibrator is that, so normalized. As it should yeah. be. Yeah, I don't care. Vibrate away. I think it's cheating. Like my dick can't vibrate. They work so much better than dicks. Like they get <laughs> dicks off. <laughs> You've heard it no first. No fucking way they do, bro. Are you serious? They tell me they do. Oh, who are you talking to? Yeah. I have a couple of friends that are girls. They love it. They say Fair it feels enough. way better. Than any sex they've ever had. Yeah. Well, geez, they haven't had, met the right guy then, have they? Are you sure? Yeah, 100%. No, are you sure? Oh. Me? Yeah. Or is that it just what? actually that good? What, vo- like toys? Yeah. Is, I'm it, sure is for, it better? I'm sure for different girls, like... Stimulated in different, different, different toys. Because as you guys would know, every fucking... Vagina is different. Are they? Ugh. Are they? Yeah. Of course. Yeah, yeah of course. Hate like word, some yoni. some girls yoni. can't even come internally. I hate I'm saying that, saying. but you know what I mean. Clam. No, say so clam. <laughs> oh. No, so what were you saying? I got distracted by the Some clam. girls can't orgasm <laughs> internally. <laughs> Fuck you. They can't Fuck wait. This. They can't what? A lot of girls can't orgasm internally. Like from yeah, I know that from, from yeah, okay, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Life story, Mo- and most can on the outside. On the, yeah, yeah, I get you, I get you. Yeah, yeah, um, but still, some can't either way at all. Gee, um, so no guy's ever gonna make them come. So the only way that they can do it is by themselves. So then, obviously, it's gonna be better. Mm, mm. That makes sense. It's it's a lot more intricate than blokes have it. Like at the end of the day, the hand is the perfect mold for what we have. Yeah, hand is hand is good. Hand. It's right there as well. It's right there, useful. Dude, mm. <laughs> <laughs> we said some crazy shit, eh? When do you reckon it was discovered? Long time ago. What masturbation? Yeah. Immediately. 
Wow. So Adam's pulling his Adam's pulling the pulling old John. Wow. Adam's pulling, pulling his Eve. <laughs> if you know. Eve's no. No. Okay. I was trying to get something there and you just didn't let me have it. That's fine. Mm. Adam's pulling his apple. <laughs> Is that better? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Big round but, out of apple. <laughs> no, I reckon they would have been... Uh, I don't know. So I reckon at the start it would have been like almost shameful to do it. Well, this, this comes I don't know back if to it's a, shameful. This comes like, back to a topic we've talked about. Like what? Th- they walked around naked like before clothes. So like they probably weren't accustomed to getting horny or like hard unless they had to reproduce. Yeah, that is true. Mm. Well, stimulated. I hate some of the terminology that I've used tonight. Like mm. every word that's come out of my mouth, it just feels like fuck. Yeah, I know. That's why I let you say it and not me. You don't like saying the vulgar words, do you? I don't normally, no. I swear more on here than I do in real life. I'm completely I don't fine like. with saying the words. I don't care about saying them, but I knowing that people are going to hear it. I'm coming. talking about the vulgar words, not the anatomical words like you're saying i don't care about saying that what what if we're talking about vaginas and stuff like i that? hate that word it's my vagina yeah <laughs> my vagina mm. there's at the end of the day like there's no good and bad words for any genital areas really what's a good word for each give me one solid word that you're like yeah i can live with that that sounds good that's pleasant off the tongue Penis isn't that bad. Penis is not good. Penis it's is not bad. that bad. What? It's cock it's better? Cock's better than penis. Yeah, I think cock's really? better. Really? Cock's aggressive. Penis is cock so... Cock rhymes with rock. Peace, that's I not... peace is a good word. What? <laughs> peace. <laughs> my peace. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> what about my... He's Warren John- peace. <laughs> what about Johnson? Yeah. My Johnson. Stevie Johnson. Johnson's not good. I reckon peace is almost the best. No, that's peace terrible. isn't good. Plain my peace. peace. Dick. No, I don't like good. that at all. I'm not saying. I'm just saying which is our I best know. option. I think it's bird's a good word. <laughs> bird. Yeah, my bird. Nothing's flying down there. What are you talking about? Bird. You know I've never the, heard that. You know what the worst one is? Willy. I Willy. hate that word. Oh, it just reminds <laughs> you of like being I don't a know, kid, being like eight years old. <laughs> <laughs> just like, well, Noxie oh. started playing with his. Yeah, he, Noxie was playing with his Willy. Apparently. Fuck, that's young. Doodle. Yeah. Doodle. But that's a drawing, so. What about, um, no, nah, I, th- I think cock's probably the best. Really? Knob. <laughs> <laughs> Knob. Let's move on. More than happy. Let's move on. Come on, people. All right. All right. You had some time. <laughs> <laughs> how, many, how many people would you reckon have shut the podcast off? Right? Oh, 20 oh, minutes so ago many. and we've only been going for It'll get minutes. edited. We're not leaving all that in. <laughs> You had some topics to talk about this week. No, I didn't. You did. I saw them. I didn't have anything. I have a few. I've yeah, Nox, you might have had a few. So, I'm really interested in this and I feel like it's really Americanized and stuff like that, but I've never known anyone in Australia that's gone on jury duty. Uh, jury so, duty. Okay. Do you know anyone personally that has gone on jury duty? My yep. sister. Your sister has? Yep. What did, she, what, what did she say about it? Did she like it? She hasn't gone on yet. She's, oh, she's waiting to go she's on. She's waiting to go on. Yeah. Well, as in like she got a letter in the mail. Yeah. How long ago? Start of this year. Does she know when it's going to be? September, I think. Yeah. I'm I I'm literally going to be like I want to pick her brain. <laughs> Imagine yeah. she gets like a murder case. It'll probably just be some boring civil fucking probably, yeah. Yeah. But like what's your like thoughts? a domestic thing. What how would you act in, as a juror? I just not do a thing. What do you mean? I get so bored in there. Fuck. You wouldn't say that the eleven others agree and you disagree down like wholeheartedly. Mm. Are you raising your hand saying you're disagreeing? Yeah. 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 You have to. You couldn't live with yourself if no, you did. No, you'd be like, oh. But then the case still keeps going because they have to make come to a decision. They all have to agree. You know what's hard though? You know how you just have like um like gut feelings? Mm. Mm. Like you know when you look at someone you just like I got a good feeling about this person. Mm. Imagine That's you what a lot of people thought about Ted Bundy. So Yeah, exactly <laughs> though. Like, imagine like I believe this guy. Mm. I believe I believe him. I believe this girl. I believe this person. 
Like, how are you going to convict them if you believe them? It's tough. It's tough. Uh, what is it? What's the movie I saw recently? Primal Fear. Have you seen that? No. That's a, oh, I've heard about. You got to watch can... that. That is unbelievable in terms of what we're talking about. Is that Matthew McConaughey? No, it's no. Edward Norton's first movie. Oh, I do like him. Oh yeah, that's uh, yeah. Oh, I know that one. I have seen that. It's good. Where is it? at, yeah, with Roy. Yeah, yeah. How that was good. the ending? Yeah. Holy oh. shit, that is so good. I didn't know it's it was a called good that. movie, isn't it? He reminds me so much. You look so much like Edward Norton. I you look, you got a bit of Edward Norton in you. Is that a good thing? Yeah. Yeah. He's on a Fight Club, one of the greatest movies. Did that also annoy you, though, that he gave it away so easily? Yeah. 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 Have you seen it? No. I have no <laughs> idea what you're talking about. All right. Well, you won't understand. Good film. Yeah. All right. Pause. I hate what you just did there. <laughs> you just, I just told you that I haven't seen it. I didn't. You just, no, what you just said is like, well, then you wouldn't get it then. No, 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 that no, no, no. That is the most that's not passive aggressive bullshit that's, I've no, ever seen. No, I, I oh, meant it man. in the, I meant it in the way that what I just said won't give it away. Not you don't get it. It won't give it away. Like what I just said won't oh, give away the okay. ending. Because it's like if somebody watches, like, do you watch comedy specials? It's like, oh well, then you wouldn't find this funny. It's like me saying something yeah, like that. I hate. I, that. Hate when I didn't mean say that. that. I meant what I just said won't give the ending All away. Right, I'll let it slide. Thanks, mate. Just this once. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'd love to be a juror. I would. I would just. I don't know. I'd what kind? What's your dream case? Murder case. You want a murder? I want a murder. I want pressure. You want to be in the room. You want pressure with a murder. I want pressure. I want like, like I want some drama in there. I want to be like fuck. Like, I want to see each lawyer working their fucking ass off for this mm. case, and for me to be like, yeah, I agree with that. Mm. You want to be on the fucking scene of NCIS is basically what you're saying. Yeah, I want the. Drama. I want to hear your honor. Yeah, yeah. I want to object. I want to hear the, the fucking the bang, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. Order, order. Yeah, get that man out of my courtroom. <laughs> give, give me all that shit. <laughs> and it's Noxy getting escorted out. Yeah. I, how'd you go in there if you were sitting next to someone who like really smelled like as a juror? <laughs> <laughs> you kidding me? So, this could be with anything though. On a plane. Could be anywhere. I struggled completely with that. How do you go with a a talker? What do you mean? I'm packed train. The guy sitting next to you won't fucking shut up. We we had this recently, actually. What we went out to Ducky Browns. Yeah. (laughs) And this old lady, like old lady, and her mum sat like on the table next to us. And this old lady gave us every question she's ever thought of in her life <laughs> oh. in five minutes. And she was like, oh, like, this is what she said. Like, bless her. She, I don't think she talks to many people or something. And I was just happy to have a chat. But shit. She literally at one point, she's like, oh, where are you from? And I'm like, oh, just from Somerville. She's like, oh, well, so do you know Tom then? <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck's Tom? Tom from Somerville? Are you kidding? Tom? Oh, man. Anyone? No, I don't know Tom. How many Toms are in Somerville? I think you oh, said Tom man. who? <laughs> Tom, Tom who? I don't know. Tom. Oh, he plays footy? Oh, shit. Yeah. So we're back to the start. And then yeah. she asked me where I'm from. And I said Mount Martha. Oh, yeah. Nice area. Nice area. <laughs> Um, what do you think of Somerville? I'm like, yeah, it's nice. <laughs> I really like coming to this cafe for breakfast. She's like, yeah, yeah, it's good. You know, it's growing and, you know. You don't like the small talk. Small talk. No, nah, but it was growing from small talk from no reason. I'm not a big small talker. Nah. I can small talk. I don't like to small talk. I won't initiate small talk very often. I'm very happy with complete silence. Yeah, Sam. Yeah, we can just... Mm. I don't know. I don't... There's some scenarios where you just want to say, hey, how's it going? And just move on. Mm. Not, hey, how's it going? Let's have a conversation. Yeah. yeah. Hey, I'm hey, really how... We've talked about it. Hey, how are you going is the formality, the polite way to just acknowledge that you're both there. Yeah. I hate when people take it upon themselves to... You know what? Yeah, good. No, really good day. What are you doing? <coughs> I'm not good oh, as man. well. 
That was so gross. Um, when is a scenario where it's just the hey, how you going and move on? Work. Yeah, work, walking past. Walking past. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, if you go Gotta on a walk, on if you go on a walk, say you're walking the dog or you're just walking with a mate or whatever, and you see, like, say it's in a pretty, it's public, but it's like, it's not populated. Like, there's not a lot of people around and there's someone walking past. Mm. Do you say g'day? Yep. Yeah, I always say g'day. You have to, right? Always Otherwise, it's too that. awkward. Yeah. You can't not. I get really upset, not upset, but angry when people walk past and try and avoid it. Mm. Yeah. Because like, fair. it's going to happen. It's the way it is. It's I'm going to say hi to you or you're going to say hi to me. It's going to happen either way. If they had head- headphones in though, see you later. Not not going out of my way. I give way the head nod with a smile. Yeah. You're always doing some kind of acknowledgement. Mm. Okay. No. Elevator. Slow elevator. No. You're just one other person. You can't just say, hey, how you going? Yeah, good. How are you? Good. And then you wait for another 10 flights and that's Get it. on your phone. Elevator's completely different. I went in and say hi because you have to talk. These, here's one thing I want to try. So, because you know how you're in that situation, you say, hi, how you going? And then everyone just whips out their phone mm. and then just pretends to look at Instagram that they've already looked at 10 hundred times that day. Yeah. There was a bloke, I think he did a podcast and he was saying like, I'm getting into the habit of just leaving my phone at home. And he went to a bar and had a beer with a mate Mm. and his mate went to the toilet and he subconsciously straight away went to grab his phone out of his pocket and he didn't have it there. Mm. And he's like, I've never felt more awkward in my life not knowing what to do (laughs) in that moment of time. And then he just spoke to the bartender and I'm like... Every time you think, oh, I'll just grab my phone, I'm always starting to think now, like, what would I do if I didn't grab my phone? Mm. Who Would I talk to someone? I think about that regularly. I think everyone just talked. Mm. Just talked. It's weird. It's concerning how comfortable it feels that as soon as you're alone in a public, sp- public space, how comfortable it feels just to reach for your pocket and get your phone. Mm. Mm. It's just it an feels easy so out. comfortable. I don't like when I wake up in the morning, the first thing I do is look at my phone. No. I hate that I do that. I do as well. I hate that. Yeah. Do you look... So as soon as you wake up, do you look at your phone? Yeah. yeah I read the notifications. See yeah. if there's anything important. Put it back down. And then yeah. Do you put it back down? Yeah. yeah. Mm. I don't go on it. I just look at the notifications. But even that's like bad in itself. Like you, you're expecting something for some reason. The yeah. chance of me getting up, brushing my teeth, going to the toilet, having breakfast, then checking my phone... Oh, it's nuts. So slim. It's, ne- z- it's zero. Happening. I have to... I hate that I have to have it there. Yeah, I'm the exact same. Mm. I've got to have it there. Like, a couple of weeks back, do you remember when I left my phone in Taylor's car? Um, no. Yes, yeah. Remember, I, yeah. Oh, I oh, yeah, you did. Left mm, my yeah. phone in Tay's car, probably five hours without my phone. Mm. So many moments where I just felt so lost. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, fuck, this is bad. We this should do crazy. a Patreon thing, yeah. two days, no phone. <laughs> Oh man, that'd be tough. Why that'd was that really tough? tough? And you only know. have your wallet. Just so you can your pay wallet. for stuff. Well, yeah. we should do that That's in fair. the same way. We should do it together. Yeah. Because I'm yeah. not going to be by myself for two days. Can we get like little, can we get Nokia $50 phones? That'd be So we can idea. call each other? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you could do that. Because then you're not, like you can't waste, like look at Insta, no. you know, Facebook, you can't even get anything. messages or anything. All you're taking is a call and that's it. Yeah. Do you reckon we do that? Yeah. Try that for a week or something. A week. Oh. A week's a lot. Do you I know how much could happen? We might, we might actually enjoy it. The weekend or something. Yeah, weekend. Like a getaway trip to wherever. And we all have to have flip phones. And we just all have flip phones, us three. And we just record each other. I reckon that'd be funny. That oh, might work. That'd be tough though. That'd be it? fucking tough. Imagine Sunday. You'd be like, oh, <laughs> you'd be like. Imagine waking up hungover. All you want to do is flick through videos. I tell you what it would force us to do. We go to the pub. We'd actually talk to new people. Yeah. Because you'd be like, your mates would be going to the, to- like literally the same scenario. Someone would go to the bathroom. Mm. And you'd be like, hey mate, how are you going to the, no- the guy next to you? You're not going to whip out your Nokia and pretend. Yeah. You're, you're like <laughs> trying to read the messages. It's embarrassing. You wouldn't do that. You're trying to get to C. You've got to hit it three times. That'd be a fun little experiment. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's do it. This is something we won't do, but sounds good. <laughs> no, we'll do that. How much is a Nokia? Hopefully. I don't know. I'm pretty dollars. sure we could find some. I'm sure we have prepaid phones. True. Just check your, your SIM in it. You'll be right. 
Yeah. Laughing. Fuck. <laughs> what? It'd be so funny. Oh, here's something that happened today. So I was at a cafe. Mm. And there's certain people that just linger around cafes. Like it was near uni. Mm. And there was people lingering at the cafe. And I didn't like it. Mm. I actually, like, I hated it. Like, wow. I really didn't like it. They were, like, standing near the middle of the cafe. Mm. And I wasn't sure if they were going to order or if they're waiting. And then I've been waiting for, like, five minutes. And, like, oh, sorry, we've already ordered. I'm like, well, then get the fuck out the way. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, because yeah, I want to yeah. get a coffee and I've got to go do stuff. Yeah. So get out the way. And then they're just, like, seeing all these people they know walk in. And they're just... Hanging around mm. the cafe. Mm. Get out the way. <laughs> Cafes aren't just a stand around kind of thing. It's go sit down, have your coffee yeah. and get out kind of thing. Don't mm. you reckon? Or have as many coffees as you want, sit down, mm. but you don't just stand around a cafe. There's nothing worse than when you go into like a cafe or like a food place, bakery, whatever it is. And there's like, it looks like there's five different lines and you have to ask like, Four different people. Hey, have you ordered? Yeah. Get to a place where I know you haven't ordered, mm. so yeah. I can order. Get completely <laughs> out the way. Out of the way. That's Get the out other of the thing. way. <laughs> people that stand around the coffee machine. Oh, bro. I kn- one, oh. leave them alone because they're making the coffee. You don't need to be watching them do it. Thank you. And two. When I'm coming up to get my coffee, get the fuck out of the way. Yeah. Like, are you kidding me? Like, I just want to... Like, now I'm going to be like, oh, excuse me, mate. Whoop, sorry. Whoop, you're, you know, this is hot. Look out, you know. Yeah. Like, I don't want to do this. Just get out of the way. We don't have to just... Oh, Literally. Unnecessary. It's Most cafes or any of these places have, like, good systems where they'll either have, like, a number or they'll take your name. Mm. Yeah. And they shout out your name. You don't have to be there waiting for your coffee to just get it. You don't you have know. to be... They don't be well, like, straight... Go Straight outside, in. go out of the space where you can be in your own space. You're not bothering anyone. You're not you going to miss out name. either. You're not going to miss out. It's ready. Mm. You'll be three seconds longer. You yeah. hear your name, go get your coffee, get out of there. Or go to your table. Whatever works. Mm. I, I make coffee. And when I'm making a lot of coffee, say there's like 10 orders, 10 coffees is a lot of coffees to make at once. I'd say that's You a can't few. do that. So you make probably two or three at once. Yeah. And this guy's order is like the seventh order. So you got to make a few before his. And he's waiting at the counter, like twiddling his thumbs right in front of the coffee machine. <laughs> and there's like four or five people behind him waiting for their coffee. They're next. Yeah. And he's just sitting there like. Oh, I don't oh, like, like that. He's just kind of banging on the counter a little bit, looking at what I'm doing. Like looking at the coffees I'm making. Oh, and he's thinking, oh, is that mine? And I'm like, Dave. And he's like, fuck. <laughs> <so weird." laughs> and like. Oh, I almost feel like saying, like, what are you, I'm going to make you coffee. Yeah, just go sit down. Oh, and he thinks because the fact that he's in front, waiting in front of all these people that he should be next. Yeah, it's not like we're going to be like, you know what? We'll skip the eight people that are here before you. No, we're not, we'll get I'm yours not doing done. that. No. It makes me want to do that less. Yeah, I'll put you, does anyone else want a coffee? Yeah. Because <laughs> I'll make them and then I'll give Dave his, whoever it is. I at, do that sometimes. In the same time, at the same time. And this is going into exactly what that is. How annoying is it when you order something and the person behind you gets it before you do <laughs> and it's something really similar all the same? Mm. Oh, well, that's La- just... I don't know, regular latte. Yeah. Anyone could walk up and take that because mm. that's everyone's order. Yeah. Well, the oh. barista should be making two of those at once. If you got the two of the same order... Make them at the same time. Yeah. Mm, good call. Yeah, because you can only have one milk in the jug. So if you've got three oat milk lattes and they're in position one, three, and seven, you're making those <laughs> at the same time because they're the same milk. Tricks of the trade. Tricks of the trade, yeah. Tricks of the trade. The stuff. It's weird that you have the one, same job, seven. but you don't do what he does. And Do you do, do, you do anything that he doesn't do? No. We basically do the same stuff, but he works in the clubhouse. And you I work in the me. clubhouse one out of like four shifts, yeah. Mm. And all I do is make coffee and take people's orders and pour beer. beer. Do you like the clubhouse? I like it on a day like today where it's pissing it down. Yeah, true. Yeah. 
How's the next week looking for you guys? It's meant to be like this every day for the next Cold week. Cold as fuck. Terrible. I'm not shit. working a whole lot right now because of uni and I'm pretty happy with that. Because it is oh, so, so shit and cold. I miss just like having like one class in a day and like getting to just to go home and do it at home. Mm. Mm. Fucking hate working full time, being somewhere for like nine hours. I it's hate feeling like making a money though. Life. You're making money. Yeah. Do you know yeah. what I think the the biggest waste of life is? What? Sitting in a red light <laughs> or in traffic. <laughs> Like ge- genuinely, you're there just like waiting for nothing and uh, nothing. What do you mean? Like you're, you're waiting because it's not safe to drive. Yeah, but like so if everyone I mean. just drove when they wanted to go, it'd be chaos. Obviously, that's not what I'm saying. That you can't. You have to take away red lights. But <laughs> you sitting and waiting for a red light, you're not doing anything. That is a complete waste of life. That's a waste of life. How many how many hours reckon you spend of your whole life just waiting at a red light? I bet you it's more than something productive that you could be doing. So much time. So much time. When there's a yellow, are you quick to go on the brakes or do you take it on most of the time? If I know there's no speed camera there, I'm taking it on If there's no time. speed camera there, I'm taking it on 100% every time. Yeah. You're going to make it. Then you, then you just justify to yourself, well, it would have been dangerous to slow down. Yeah. <laughs> every <laughs> single time. If there's a yellow light, 80 meters away, no light. I know there's no camera. <laughs> Breezing through there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Waving goodbye. Blatantly running a red light. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, no, it was yellow. It was yellow. <laughs> so it's fine. Oh, man. What about red lights at night when there's no one around? You're going through it. That's a waste of time. Waiting for a red light when there's no one around. At, yeah, like at instead of sensor, they have like time. Yeah, the time. You're going through that. You're not waiting in a red light when there's no one else around. Like that. Why would you do that? You're going through every day. I do it I know you probably wouldn't. I don't. I do it (laughs) on the way to work at 5.30 in the morning. Yeah. No shit. Every every time I... Time pressing matters, I'll, you know, I'll just do it slowly because like I'm waiting. I pretty much should be green now. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm gone now. So I might as well go. Every time I'm coming home from here, from the podcast, Mm. and I get to that... Those intersection, yeah, where you go and pass like the the cafe or Craggy Road, yeah, it's mm. always red, yeah, going through every time, <laughs> <laughs> every single fucking time, breezing through there, yeah, I'm going eighty, I'm not even slowing down. There's if no I cars s- in sight. If I see a cop car there next week, I'm blaming <laughs> you. <laughs> that is funny as. <laughs> fucking hate it. I hate waiting at a red light when I don't <laughs> have to wait. Say there's a day, the purge. Is it the purge? Yeah. Is that where everyone can kill each other? Yeah. Well, this is when there's no rules. Ah, oh, okay. What are you doing on the day that there's no rules? Oh, God. I'm Honestly? Yeah. I'm closing every door and staying inside. Yeah, I'm pretty much... You're playing it safe? You wouldn't try and do something you've always wanted no. to do? No. Like what? What have you always wanted to do that you'd want to do on the purge? I don't know. Use the chicken salt over the counter at a fish and chip shop. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Do you like you save that one for the purge? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I couldn't. I had no. Would have no idea. There'd be too many maniacs. To, uh, there'd many. be too many people being like, you know, what, I, I just wanted to take off someone's head. Yeah, and I'd be like, well, I don't want to go talk to them because you don't have to talk to them. See them in the <laughs> distance. <laughs> Anything? Well, what's a stupid law? No. Well, where do I start? Like, what's one you just you constantly confront, and you're just like, why does that exist? Speeding. Yeah, like sixty zones in some spots. Yeah, speeding. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's a lot of sixty zones. That should but the be thing aided. is, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go out of my way to speed just for it. Yeah, I'm not waiting for the purge to go eighty in a sixty zone though. <laughs> <laughs> wait, yeah, I'd wait. No, I'd go seventy in a sixty zone. Yeah, <laughs> seventy, sixty-five. Shit. No, I wouldn't. I'd steal some stuff probably. Ever stolen anything? Have we discussed this? When I was a kid, I used to like. Do a trick. Well, I thought it was a trick. Where I'd still <laughs> it was just blatantly stealing. I'd still I'd steal something from a store. I was really bad. Like I'd steal so much when I was a kid. <laughs> I'd steal something from a store and pretend that I found it in the backyard. Mm. Oh, I remember you telling me yeah. this actually. Yeah. And 
my parents aren't fucking dumb. They knew <laughs> I was fucking stealing it. And they told me that I was going to jail. Oh. And like showed me photos of jail and stuff like that. Like cells. Scared the shit out of me. They said like the cops are coming for you. Like what a thing to do to a kid. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like in prep. I'm like, I just wanted this $1 toy. Why don't you just buy it for me? That's, that's the reason I'm stealing it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck no. Oh, that's funny as. Gee, it took me the, it took me some, so I used to work at Woolworths for a little bit and it, it took me so much courage to scan like a pizza roll or something as a 30 cent roll. Yeah. In the self checkout. The first day I did that, that's the closest I've got to stealing. That's ridiculous. That's Besides insane. accidentally putting like something in my pocket and then doing the scan and that's then realizing, stealing. oh, I've got, you know, whatever in my pocket. I know mates. Never will... deliberately done it. I don't have the composure to do it. Mm. I, I know people yeah. have worked at a bottle o that still drinks all the time from the bottle o. Yeah, like I'll steal stuff from work, but they know I do it and it's accepted. Like you can <laughs> steal wedges and golf clubs and... Because they have heaps of spares. Eh? <laughs> balls, like, yeah, yeah, just take it. I don't know oh, if that's golf stealing. Balls, yeah. No, yeah. I don't know. I haven't stolen anything that's, you know, that would be marked as Stole theft. a car once, all right? <laughs> once. One car, one time. Uh, no, nothing that serious. Stealing a car would be so stressful. I reckon I saw a stolen car today, actually. No number plates. Mm. Dodgy driver. What are your thoughts? If you had a girlfriend, oh, God. would you allow <laughs> would you allow a whore pass? No. What do you mean? No. Like, you know how you... Celebrity whore pass? Yeah. Or? Oh, yeah. Celebrity yeah, because they're probably not going to... Because it's never going to happen. happen. It's a fantasy that's never going to happen. Yeah, but say it does. Say you're in a long-term relationship, five years, and Brad Pitt walks into her life and asks her if she wants to go home with him. Are you allowing that to happen because it's Brad Pitt? Or, like, is that... First, qu- first thing, yes. Second, can I join? Brad Pitt. Can I join? <laughs> <laughs> It would never happen. You just say it to say but it. But say it does happen. Yeah. Say it's 100% going to happen. Would you let your girlfriend do it? No. If I knew it was going to happen, then probably not. Yeah. I don't think I would either. If then I'll, you could say you've slept with the same girl as Brad Pitt. Who I've been dating for 10 years. <laughs> 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 she had an affair with me with Brad Pitt. <laughs> Yeah, that doesn't sound so great. If you could, who's your hall pass? I don't have a hall pass, but if I had one, yeah, probably like Jessica Alba. Jessica Alba. Oh, yeah, Jessica um, Alba. I think I know who that is. If it's the one I'm thinking of, yeah, nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <Who's your laughs> that that's her. <laughs> Margot Robbie. Oh well, yeah, that's you know every white, every guy, just every human. Mm. Who, yours who's about? yours? I don't know. I don't think I have one. You don't have any celebrity that you find very, very attractive. Anna de Armas, whatever that, her name is. Yeah, she's great. Who's that? Beautiful. She's the chick off Knives Out main character. Yeah. Knives Out. War Dogs. You love that. War Dogs. She's the the. She's she like, like Puerto Rican or something. She was like the one that helped the old bloke in Knives Out. She, get, she threw up when she lied. Oh yeah, her. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Nah, trust me. Nah, the ch- the notebook chick's really. Oh, Rachel no- McAdams. Redhead, Rachel McAdams. Yeah, she's I- got a lovely face. Mean Girls, Mean Girls, Rachel McAdams. Really? Well, that's oh, a bit of attitude. I haven't seen Mean Girls. You've never seen Mean Girls? No. Oh wow. So yeah. you probably watch it now and think it's the worst movie ever. But when you watch it as a kid, I'm trying to think of some blondes, but I can't think of any. <sighs> oh, <laughs> big um, blonde guy. Thoughts on this one, Miley Cyrus? Yeah, hell yeah. Dude, come Dude, on. Huge. Do you rate her? Oh, come on. Really? Surely you you have to as well. I don't even know what she looks like, really. Miley Cyrus? Miley Cyrus. I remember from Wrecking Ball, that's about it. Yeah, she doesn't really look like that anymore. <laughs> she doesn't look like a little boy anymore. <laughs> I don't know what she looks like now, really. Are you kidding? Nah, I'm not big on the celebs. I don't really study them. Neither. So why but do I, I know, know what Miley Cyrus looks like? Yeah. 
It's, so it's fairly common. Why do you like it? What do you mean? She's stunning. Stunning, beautiful. White face. Oh, yeah. Wow. There you go. You're into it. I can't I believe you can't think here. of one. Yeah. Think of any movie. Maybe like Mimi Keen. I don't know who that is. It's Ruby off Sex Ed. <laughs> oh, oh you great pull that one. That's a great <laughs> pluck. He's plucked that one from the stars. Uh, yeah. Mimi Keen. Mimi Keen. Who that's do you think? That's what Jack. Who says. do you think is like the <laughs> the most popular hall pass for a guy and a girl in the world? Margot Robbie. Margot Robbie. Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt. You yeah. reckon Brad Pitt? Could be Brad nah, Leo. Hemsworth. Or could oh, be Leo. Hemsworth. Could be. It would have been George Clooney. Chris back Hemsworth. In the day. Hemsworth. Tell you who's a guy that's in a lot of rom coms that I don't see Kutcher? being attractive at all. That guy. Ashton Kutcher. Ashton Kutcher is you not attractive. I don't att- see it. He's attractive. He's tall he's, as well. Yeah, super he's tall, tall. but it's, what's going on with the hair? What do you mean? He has similar hair to you. Yeah. No, he doesn't. Long hair. No, he's got short hair. Oh. I wouldn't say it's short. I wouldn't say it's long though. Yeah. Medium hair. <laughs> I, I get the appeal. Do you get the appeal? Yeah, I he's can date, say it. He's literally married to Mila Kunis and she's stunning. Oh, st- there we go. There's another one. Mm. Mila right, Kunis, so forget a ser- forgetting Sarah Marshall. Yeah. Yeah. Who's a guy you find attractive? Someone I find attractive? Yeah. Hmm. Like, just a solid, good-looking bloke. Titanic Leo. Yeah. yeah. Christian Bale. Christian American Bale. Psycho American Christian Psycho Bale. Christian Bale. Wow. Nuts. Nuts. Mate, He's that guy's peak fitness and just, like, suited up, class, bang. Yeah, fake tan. Yeah. S- yeah. It's literally, he's made, in the movie, made to be the, the stereotypical perfect man. Yeah. Hmm. He did well. Christian Bale. Yeah. Who's yours? I said Leo off Leo, Titanic. Leo Titanic and are you going with Christian as well? I can't really go past. You've put it in my head. That's pretty much it. Yeah. Yeah. Christian Bale is my favorite actor. So, and that's my favorite movie. You got to choose a different one. Fuck, yeah. all right. Can't think. Off there the must top be of my one. Head. I can't think of the top of my head. Hemsworth's not that good, I reckon. No. Nah. No. No. I reckon he's a good bike, but you know. <laughs> Come on the pod. Yeah, jump on the couch. What time are we Brad Pitt's got to be up there. Like yeah, Bradley prime, Pitt's. Prime Brad Pitt. Bradley Pitt's has got to be up there. He's good. What movie is he best looking in? Oh, great question. Ocean's 11. Oh, Fight Club's pretty good. Ocean's Fight 11. Fight Club has got this aura to him. Yeah. yeah. Because he's wearing, he's wearing real out there shit as well. Out there stuff. He super just, confident. Oh, like, he doesn't give a shit. Yeah. Ripped like to, to the, the fucking jerky. He yeah. is amazing. To the jerky. <laughs> he's the beef to the jerky. That's what I'm telling you. Yeah, he's a good looking bloke. Oh. <laughs> Got an erection. Yeah. And full circle. How's that for time? Hour 10. Hour 10. Perfect. You're laughing. Perfect. Too easy. Thanks, boys. That's That was a real weird one, I'll be honest. Because <laughs> <laughs> we, we have no content, so we have to make stuff up. I yeah. might bring some content next week. I've said that for the last forever, basically. I'm going to write it down. Yeah, hopefully we have some stuff next yeah, week. Yeah, we talked about some real weird shit there. Yeah, so we'll see what makes it. But, <laughs> yeah, thanks for listening. If you did, I'll, if you didn't, I don't blame you. And also, you're not hearing this if you didn't, so that's fine. Um, we'll see you next one. See you next one. Thank you, Noxie. Thanks, boys. Bye, Kyle.